Hola, hola amigos. So today I would like to talk about the hot topic JPEG versus RAW, but in a special case, the photojournalism. But before, a little generic. So it's a very long debate, the RAW versus JPEG. We talk about that uh, a lot, a multiple of time. You have the camp of people, some said, the professional or serious photographer use only RAW. And you have people, some said, no, JPEG can be useful. And for example, you have a special case when you do photojournalism, you need to deliver your photo pretty fast. So um, the advantage of um, JPEG is you can almost out of the box send your photo. So before to go a bit more in deeper, I will explain what is RAW and what is, um, what is JPEG. I will not really give you a lot of details about what is RAW or what is JPEG because you can um, find a ton of video about that on YouTube and um, they do uh, better than me, but I will just give a, a bit of info. So first, what is RAW? RAW, it's um, um, like format with all the data, no compression. So it's a very big, depends of your camera and depends of your brand and depends of how megapixel you have in your camera, but it's a pretty huge file. Uh, and the and you are, you have all the information. You can see the row as a as a negative uh, neg numeric negative. Like when when we was shooting with um, with uh, analog, uh, it's the same stuff. So the disadvantage maybe of the row is you need to. Uh, do a bit of work after your, you have your photo in your data or in your computer. So you need to do um, post-production and uh, fix a bit the exposure, exposure, the white, the, the black and so on and so far. So you need to work a bit and that can take time for sure. In an other hand, the JPEG is a very, it's a little file, it's a compressed file. Uh, and it's already um, like um, ready to, to use. So your camera will do a bit of work and uh, so you will already have the like uh, the black and uh, the white and so on some is normally good. Um, so you don't need normally you don't need to fix your photo uh, after the after the this shooting uh, but actually and it's a bit funny because uh, like I think three days ago or uh, something like that I have asked in the photography chat uh, it's a Facebook group I highly recommend it uh, to, to join it's a very nice um, photo group uh, photography group chat uh, we talk mostly about uh, sport photography because it's a lot of sport photographer but we talk also a bit of photography in general actually so I, I highly recommend to join it if you want to join a community about photography uh, but so in that uh, Facebook group I have asked about the question when you do sport photography for a newspaper and so on do you use JPEG or RAW and um, all answer was JPEG so yeah uh, and yesterday uh, I was to shooting the final of uh, challenger tennis challenger in, in Dondori and I was okay it's the final we have only one match uh, so I will try to use RAW to see the difference between the JPEG and RAW and if I can use the RAW in my workflow to be fast and send the photo fast, even if it's raw and need a bit of post-production, uh, post yes. Uh, so I have made it 
and the answer is uh, first the results was better better quality uh, better quality uh, in my eyes I, 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 actually uh, sharpness photo and I was able to fix the black and the white and so on and so far and uh, actually also the white balance uh, sometimes when it's you are in a tricky light situation and so on the disadvantage of jpeg it can be a bit hard to fix uh, the white balance and then it will be very hard on a jpeg to fix your uh, your photo in post-production because the problem with the jpeg it's you have not all the data and every time you will do a modification in your jpeg uh, you will decrease the quality of your photo and that not happen when you do raw shoot so the raw is better to do a bit of post-production and it can help in tricky light situation uh, but the other answer was yes i'm able to include it in my workflow and shoot uh, and send pretty fast my 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 photo so it's not an issue so from now in my case i will i will choose to do i will only do uh, raw uh, raw shooting even if it's for photo journalism and newspapers um, so you will say well, yes but how about the post-production that take time yes and no i will say you have uh, and pretty good solution in Lightroom. It's the auto option. The auto option will uh, give you the possibility uh, with an IA to do uh, the basic adjustment, and it's enough to 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 send the photo there. So and that is pretty fast. So not is no 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 issue about the post production. And the and actually even when I was shooting in JPEG, I was almost all the time do a bit of post production. For example, a bit of cropping or adjust um, a bit of the exposure and so on. So it's pretty same the same time for me. Uh, and the only stuff it's about the noise reduction. Uh, so the noise reduction in from the camera when you shoot in with Sony and so on, it's pretty good. Uh, and the issue is when you shoot in RAW, you will not have um, noise reduction from the camera. So you need to do it manually, and that can be a bit time consuming. Um, the other solution is to uh, use the new option from Lightroom or not so new now but the noise reduction for the raw file it's good do a pretty good job and I really like it uh, so I, I I highly recommend to use it uh, the only issue is um, you cannot do it if you have like 300 photos because that will be that will take too many times and so you will not be able to use uh, to do it for news, for example. And even if it's not for news, if you have like 400 photos to treat at the, at the moment, it's not possible with that option. I hope they will improve the performance, uh, but yeah, at the moment, it's not possible. But in another way, it can force me to choose better my photo and even use that option and have it instead of like uh, 200 photo per event I have only 40 and I have other uh, option to to do the noise reduction so I will talk about that in another video and also I will present the auto option to another in another video uh, but yeah so the the conclusion is I will use raw for my uh, shooting even for uh, photo journalism and yes it's possible uh, to do it uh, no it's not time consuming 
and you have solution uh, to do the post-production pretty good after your shooting. So that pretty it for me. For uh, actually, I can show you a photo I have or several photo I have made uh, in my last weekend in Rome. Uh, I will show you that. So let's go to the computer now. Okay, so now we are in the computer. I hope you will be able to see it uh, because sometimes on the video that is not so good, but and actually I will filter my photo on my flagged photo and that one is one of them. So if we, for example, zoom in, we can see that the sharpness is pretty good and uh, it's very nice result and um, we can also check uh, that one for example i really like it uh, same stuff here we can see that the <laughs> sharpness is really really good um, and so on um, and that is even better with the ball and we can see that we have no uh, noise even if I have shoot with um, 4000 ISO uh, and it's pretty nice yeah, even if we are a bit uh, for example that one same stuff 4000 ISO and uh, I'm pretty good uh, we can see the details and so on the other uh, good stuff when we shoot in RAW in standard JPEG, it's even if we uh, underexpose, it will be easily e easy to uh, then fix the exposure. It's also why now I prefer to shoot in RAW actually uh, for that situation. Uh, same here with the trophy. No. no nothing about like noise and so on and the quality is really good yeah so that's all for me for today so i will stop the sharing now uh, and yeah that's all for me for today uh, i hope you enjoyed the video uh, let me know if you will shoot in RAW or JPEG or if you shoot in RAW or JPEG for when you need to do um, pretty fast um, send pretty fast your photo to the customers and please follow the channel uh, to help me and comment and uh, put a like on the video that will help me uh, with the algorithm and um, I will do one video per week now so subscribe to not um, um, 